Hey guys and girls, and welcome to the first ever episode of News Drop on Acorn Vision. My name is Alan, and to kick things off today, I'm talking about a franchise that I really enjoy and was a little bit disappointed to hear about the exclusivity deal that they had. The game franchise I'm talking about is, of course, Tomb Raider, and specifically talking about Tomb Raider, the second one. So yeah, anyway, the news uh, today is that Square Enix have confirmed that the Rise of the Tomb Raider is coming to PC, and more importantly, is coming to PlayStation 4. So, whoop whoop! Alright, so, um, yeah, so basically, they've come out and said that it, it, it is coming. So all the, you know, all the rumours and speculation, I mean, we all assumed that it was going to come to other platforms. There was no way Xbox had bought it for the Xbox One uh, indefinitely, because that, I mean... I mean, for Xbox, if they could have done, they probably would have done. But for Square Enix, it makes yeah, it makes no sense for them to sell out to just one console, especially a console that isn't selling quite as well as its rival. But more importantly, Tomb Raider, PS4, PC. I mean, you know, that's just that's Tomb Raider's home, basically. Anyway, that's topic for another day. Uh, so yeah, PC. Uh, no dates have been specified. No specific dates have been given, but a uh, general release window has been uh, has been officially announced. So for PC, uh, we're looking at Q1 2016. So between January and April ish, and then for PS4, it's going to be Q4 2016. So we're looking at maybe end of autumn towards end of the year ish. Probably Christmas, I'd say, would be a safer bet, but the point is, it is coming, so that's great. And it's a little bit odd that Square Enix have announced this because, well, I mean, obviously, not odd for them, but because they've got this uh, exclusivity deal with Microsoft, who have the uh, have, who have um, the only version out this uh, Christmas, it doesn't really make any sense that Square Enix would announce this because, I mean, like, I was never going to get on Xbox One. I, I was, if push came to shove, I was going to get it on PC. I, I, I assumed there was going to be a PC version because, you know, PC and Xbox, uh, they seem to release quite frequently together. Um, so yeah, I was, I, was gonna, I was happily going to get it on PC. That's, that's not a problem for me. But knowing that it's definitely coming out on PS4 now means that I'm just going to wait. I'm happy to wait until Christmas 2016. In fact, I probably won't even get it until 2017 because... Well, those who know me know that I'm stupidly behind on my games. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it, it makes no difference. Uh, as long as it's coming to PS4, that's all I need to know. And the benefits of, of getting a game that late is that all the bugs, hopefully, will have been sorted out. You know, they'll have, they'll have patches ready to go uh, for day one. Or if not, shipping with patches already baked into the, uh, into the game. And if there's any DLC and whatnot, which I'm inclined to say there will be. I hope there isn't. But I'm inclined to say there will be. Uh, then I'm assuming there's going to be like a, a definitive edition or a game of the year edition or something like that. So yeah, I mean that's that's great. I don't mind waiting for that if it comes out. If that comes out at the end of the year, 2016, and it's already you know the game of the year edition with all the extras added in, then that's great. But if not, then there's bound to be one at some point in the future, 2017, 2018. Okay, maybe not that long, but. I'm happy to pick it up in 2017. So anyway, that's um, that's the first episode of News Drop. So yeah, uh, how, how, what are your feelings on this news? Are you happy to hear that it's confirmed definitely for PC and P PS4? Or are you still going to pick it up on Xbox One just because that's the first platform it's coming out on? Uh, so let me know in the comment section below. And yeah, until the next News Drop video for whatever game that might be. The whole purpose of this series is that well, it's not really a series, it's more, it's, it's an ongoing feature of the channel. And I'm going to be just mentioning things that I think are newsworthy, for example, this story. Uh, and if it's news about games I'm playing, then of course I'm going to talk about it. So yeah, until the next news drop, take care and I'll catch you later.